Welcome back again to Burma Mathematica channel. On this video, we are going to do this integral of x e to the x sin x dx. So the other day I saw that some impressive 10 years old, I guess, named On Han. That solved this integral for a 10 years old kid. It is a very impressive achievement to be able to integrate this scary function. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to use some other perspective. Remember that on the previous video, we discussed about some method of undetermined coefficient to solve some integral. So basically, it's an intelligent guessing of how to guess the right antiderivative. So remember that the original meaning of integral is antiderivative, meaning that we are looking for a function such that the derivative is this given function. Okay? So remember that the nature of each of that function. Remember that the derivative of e to the x is itself and the derivative of sine x is cosine x and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we want to make some intelligent guess of what's supposed to be a good guess for the for antiderivative of this. Okay, so first we are looking for something of this type. A x e to the x sine x. So remember that by the Leibniz rule, if we have two function, then to take the derivative of a product of two function, we use a product rule. And if we have a product of three functions, we just need to take the derivative uh, one by one. So, so if we have this function and we take the derivative of this, then first we take the derivative of this and keeping the other one the same, and then the next one take the derivative of this, and the next one take the derivative of that. So in the process, then we have something like this is going to be 1, and that's going to be still the same, and it's going to be cosine x. Okay, And our objective is to make a good guess to find the capital F such that the derivative is the integral x e to the x sin x. So that's our objective, right? We want to find an antiderivative of this, which is the same thing as finding a function capital F such that the derivative is x e to the x sine x. So as we observed earlier, then we have something with cosine expression. Meanwhile, there is no cosine here. So then we need to, to balance that. We want to cancel out the cosine x. And then we are hoping we can achieve that by throwing in some similar term, but with cosine x. Okay, so this is our first attempt in order to make a good guess for capital F. Okay, let's compute the derivative of this guy. So we have the derivative of this. Remember that we just take the derivative of each of the function one by one. Take term. So a times the derivative of x is 1. So e to the x sine x. And then the next one, take the derivative of e to the x, which is itself. And then take the derivative of sine x, ax e to the x cosine x. Now let's do the same thing for the second term. Then we have b e to the x cosine x plus bx e to the x cosine x. And then the last one, we take the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x so negative bx e to the x 
sine x. Okay, remember that we are hoping to get that one. Okay, so we need to find the correct a and B such that the derivative is equal to that one. So first of all, we do not want something. Let's see, e to the x in sine x, right? Okay. So actually, we do we do not want this one, right? But if we set up a and b equal to zero then on the right hand side everything is equal to zero so we get nothing right so let's just uh, forget that two expression in the beginning let's just try to focus on the rest and try to make the rest equal to x e to the x sine x so let's see we have that one and we have that one. So the coefficient is a minus b. And we are hoping that this minus that is equal to that. So we want a minus b to be equal to 1. Okay. And on the other hand, we do not want this term and that term. So we want to set the sum of those to be equal to 0. So a plus b is equal to zero. Solving this system of equation, we have a is equal to one half and b is equal to negative one half. Okay. So then we know that when we choose our a and b to be one half and negative one half, then f prime of x will be equal to one half e to the x sine x, the b is negative one half e to the x cosine x, that term and that term will be gone, and this term plus that term will be equal to x e to the x sine x, right? So we are almost there, right? Okay. Well, how to get rid of this? Notice that when we take the derivative of cosine x, we get negative sine x. So what I'm trying to say that, can we recognize this expression as the derivative of a product of two functions? And in fact, we can, right? So look at this as the derivative of this, right? So when we take the derivative of that guy first, we keep this function, which is that part. And then when we take the derivative of cosine x, we get negative sine x, negative and that negative become plus. So we have half e to the x sine x, okay? All right. So we have this is equal to that plus x e to the x sine x. Okay, so now the exciting part. So x e to the x sine x, is equal to the derivative of f minus the derivative of this. So fx plus one half e to the x cosine x and take the derivative of that. Okay, remember that our f is that one and we know the a and b. So therefore we have, so our f is Let's see, we have common term is x and then e x. So one half x e x and then sine x and then the b is negative one half, so minus cosine x. 
Okay, we have this, it's the derivative, and then plus one half cosine x. Okay, so this is equal to the derivative of this guy. And that's the same thing as saying that this function on the inside is an antiderivative of x e to the x sine x dx is equal to one half I'm sorry this should be e to the x here e to the x x sine x minus x cosine x plus cosine x plus constant all right so that's the answer and the neat thing about this is that on the process we already checked that this one is indeed the answer because we just really looking for a function such that the derivative of this one is exactly x to the x sine x so this is the correct answer. If you still not sure, then just take the derivative. Well, actually, taking the derivative of this is exactly what we did here. Okay, so that's another way to solve x, the integral of x e to the x sine x dx by using some clever guessing which is the fancy name is the undetermined coefficient okay thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like it and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet see you again on the next video